Ladies and gentlemen, my name's Paul, and in this Red Gaming Theatrecom video, let's discuss the Titan XP. No, you've not been transported back to 2001. Instead, this is the new Titan card from NVIDIA. Now, I know what you're going to say. Where the hell were the rumours about this card? Well, we don't really know, to be honest. It just seemed to creep up out of the blue. In fact, the GPU is already on sale on NVIDIA's website for a rather hefty $1,200. US So, what does it get you? Well... Pretty simple, really. A full GP102 processor with, well, equaling 3840 CUDA cores and a rather lovely 1582 MHz core clock. That's, by the way, exactly the same clock speed as the 1080 Ti, but there is a few small differences between the Ti other than the number of CUDA cores. For example, the bus width is gone to 384 bit, and that is because the additional memory module has been now soldered back onto the board. Jolly nice of NVIDIA. That, combined with the fact that the memory clock is actually a little bit higher, 11.4 gigabits per second rather than just a straight up 11, means you're looking at 547.7 gigabytes per second. Compare that to 484 gigabytes per second. So, Immediately, you're going to say to yourself, well, yeah, that's nice, but it seems like an awful lot of money. And, well, that's true. It is. The tie is currently around $700, US dollars, obviously, depending on your regional equivalent and which version of the tie you get. In other words, whether you're going for the factory overclocked ones or what have you. Meaning, it's just over half the price of the Titan XP. Are you going to get that additional performance that's worth the money? Well, only you can decide. Obviously, it does support SLI. I guess the too long didn't read is yes, this card is easily capable of most games anyway, running at 4K 60fps. There are a couple of small differences. In terms of core count, you're looking at around 7% increase, and the bandwidth is about 14% higher. That's actually pretty damn impressive when you consider. The card does look rather nice, but let's face it, it doesn't look a, exactly a million miles away. And yes, I'm being incredibly generous. Compare that to the original Titan X. But overall, it's kind of like that card which represents the pinnacle of performance. This card does put out a T-flop performance of around 12.15 T-flops. Now, I say around because, as we all know, Boost Clocks is kind of like, well... Well, it depends really on the condition of your rig, how cool it is, what you know level of oomph is left in the system. And let's face it, when we start getting third-party um, uh, SKUs released, I can imagine there's probably going to be pre-overclocked models, for example, 16, 1700 megahertz. There are a couple of oddities with this. Firstly, NVIDIA are not providing these first for release, uh, sorry, for review, which basically means that you can't really go into this informed if you want to become an early adopter. Although it won't really be too long until, you know, forums and websites start popping those out. The second oddity is that, well, it just seems pretty late to release this card. The GTX 1080 Ti makes an awful lot of sense. If I had to make a guess, it's because the Titan X Pascal is all but rendered pointless at this point. Um, because obviously the tie basically defeats it in every single way. It has slightly higher T-flop, it has slightly amount, larger amounts of uh, bandwidth. The only slight area it was lacking in was memory. It had just 11 gigabytes of RAM compared to 12. But come on now, it's not like 11 is a bad number. I mean, for 4K, it's probably going to be easily ample. What's my opinion on this GPU? Pretty simple. If you've got the money you're happy to run this thing, then by all means go for it. If you don't have that amount of cash, personally, if you do have the amount of cash, I would still rather go with two ties in SLI, my personal opinion. But, you know, I guess for the really hardcore person, or if you're just, well, intent on the very best GPU possible, then the Titan XP is definitely the GPU for you. With all of that said... Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. It's not a particularly informative one, I grant you, because, well, there's not much more to discuss other than the sheer oddity of releasing this card so close after the tie-in with such a little fanfare as well. I mean, normally you expect this thing to have a whole slew of rumours and, well, you know, speculation behind it, but no, just, just released. No IIBs, no, you know, third-party SKUs available, just 
well, it's out. You know, how about it? Just right on the store. Kind of odd. At least, you know, in this day and age. But, well, there you go. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.